Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. So today we're out doing a little bit of Funko Pop hunting and we're actually at one of our local comic book shops, the Comic Spot, awesome place to go. They always have new stuff and they actually got a lot of stuff in recently and I have a few things that I'm trying to get rid of and I wanted to maybe see if I could trade them for maybe just one pop. So I'm gonna go ahead inside, do a little Funko Pop hunting. It's always a lot of pops, so we might be here for a little bit, but I'll try to not make it too long for you guys. Let's head inside and let's get hunting. So we are now here at the comic spot and immediately when you walk in you find a bunch of pops here like they have that older gaston which is pretty cool quake prince pop there aquaman queen astoria all might they have some of the spider-man across the no. spider-verse figures a lot of them they have the composite batman munchlax Sirius black which is pretty cool junior say was a great one miguel they have the Baywatch Pop, Silver. Looks like the, there is a couple different Chase Care Bear ones. And that Batman down there looks sick. And they have a Marvel wall here. Looks like a couple different Marvel Collector Cores ones. They have the Comic Con America Chavez, some different She Hulk ones, some Ant Man ones, including the brand new Marvel Collector Cores one. I still haven't gotten my box yet. But No Way Home figures are pretty cool. That Evil Queen is a great one, that Diamond Edition. They also have Scar, which is an older Lion King Pop. I really like that. Sitch 626, Baby Pegasus is a great one, Chef Louie. Around the corner, they have some cool pops like Smokey and the Bandit. Kit Fisto is a great one along with the Wolfman and Hellboy. Blacklight, Dr. Facilier, Ickis is a cool one. Captain America, Gerald from A. Arnold along with Corey. A couple other really ones that I like over here, that number one Superman along with the Spider-Man stealth suit. The Bigfoot one's pretty awesome. Another Prince Pop, Michael Jordan, Jack Nicholas. It looks like there's a chase. Edrigan the Demon, that's a great blacklight chase. They also have the Common as well, along with the new Obi-Wan Kenobi from Entertainment Earth. Jimby from One Piece is very popular. They have an older Batman. It looks like Zorro as well. And then on this side, it looks like they have some really cool ones of Hobgoblin and this Disney Parks exclusive Figment. Really love that one. Looks like they do have a couple different Little Shop of Horrors pops, which is great. Rapunzel. Here's another Little Shop of Horrors. They have Fluffy. Kurt Angle is a pretty cool older one. Augustus Cole from Gears of War. They have interesting ones here, like some of the McDonald's ones. Dinosaurs. Elastigirl is a great one. Human Torch. Looks like got some Disney ones mixed in here as well, like the Genie along with the Ungies. And my first time seeing any of the Bullet Train pops. And over here, they have some interesting ones like Pickles from the Wetmore Forest and the more dinosaur ones. Admiral Zhao, Spyro Pops, Defender Strange, Blacklight Shuri, and there's also the new Ant-Man Pop. And up here, they have a lot of different anime mixed in, like My Hero, along with Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan, and a bunch of other ones. I see some more Marvel Pops, so Zombie Magneto is a great one, Nova, the original Gamora, US Agent, Thor Secret Wars, and this great Wolverine figure. And they also have some hot toys lying around, so they have Vision from WandaVision, along with some of the Spider-Man from No Way Home. Those are all some amazing ones. I would love to add them. Too bad they're so expensive. Hey guys, and we are back home. It's actually the next day here as I'm recording this, uh, but it definitely was a lot of really cool things. Over at the comic spot, one of my favorite places to go, as they're constantly getting in new pops, and they have had the most pops I've ever seen there at the store. They said they recently got a couple giant collections, so things were like stacked on top of like the end caps and everything. It was absolutely insane. They had probably thousands of pops, in the store and definitely a lot of really cool ones as they're constantly getting new pops in and there are a lot more that i definitely wanted to get i didn't show off the front cabinet because it was blocked off a little bit today but they have a lot of grills including some of the haunted mansion pops from san diego comic-con and the disney parks exclusive ones that they released like years ago and those are ones that i definitely want to add so maybe i can find some things in my collection that i don't want anymore maybe find out if i can get like $500 in credit and pick up a couple of those that would be amazing today I got a pop that I've been wanting to grab for such a long time and this is actually a figure I remember when it was released I actually saw it in Epcot at Walt Disney World and I wasn't really collecting a lot of pops at the time I only had a couple and I decided to pass on it which I instantly regretted because like the next year when I started getting more pops it was gone you couldn't find it anywhere but now we have finally added to the collection and one of our favorite Disney characters. This one is the Disney Parks exclusive Figment. And this was released for Epcot's 35th anniversary a few years ago. 
and this is such an amazing figure. And there are actually a few different figment figures that have been released, including I believe there's the Chef Figment one from the Food and Wine Festival that's really fun as well. I would love for them to maybe make another figment, maybe an updated one with him with like a shirt on and everything. That would be really awesome, but this pop here is definitely one of my favorite Disney ones. And so I mentioned today, I had a few things to trade in, some like common pops and also some sodas that I had traded in, and I had about $55 in credit, and they actually priced this one at 90 in the store, as you might have seen in the video, but it's not in perfect condition. Looks like there's like a ding on top, also on the bottom too, and it looks like on the back there's a little bit of a crease going right down the back. That's a little bit harder to see. So I asked them if they would knock some money off and they actually said they'll do it for 75 and so I only had to pick $20 to get this Disney Grail and this is definitely going to be a great one because I think for years to come this is going to be going up and probably within the next year it's going to be over $100 so it's definitely going to be an awesome one that I'm going to want to keep in my collection for quite a while. Like I said I absolutely love the look of this pop here with Figment's face, his arms right at his side like giving the little jazz hands but that huge smile on his face and I think they did a great job with the design on him making him a popified version of Figment. Definitely really love the colors on him and everything and they even gave him his little wings and his horns on his back and his head. So definitely a really awesome pop. And I can't wait to see if they make more Figment Pops in the future, especially with that new movie that's being made done by Seth Rogen. I think if they actually make that movie, then they'll definitely be making more Figment Pops because it just can become a part of the you know zeitgeist and a lot of people are gonna start loving Figment, but that makes it even more important that we grab this one today because now this original one is going to be even more valuable in the future. So this one definitely going to be thrown in a vaulted vinyl protector right away to make sure it is kept going up on the Disney wall. I absolutely love Figment. If you guys don't know who Figment is, he's actually now kind of the official mascot of Epcot. And he also has his own ride in Epcot as well, Journey into Imagination with Figment. He's been at the park since the beginning with his original ride but unfortunately the ride's been updated a couple times it's not the best ride but figment's a really fun character and he's really grown in popularity over the past number of years to the point where now people have demanded and disney has announced a character meet and greet in the park as well and there's so much figment merchandise disney really is uh, milking figment for all they can with the merchandise so people love figment and I'm really, really glad they made the pop. And I want to say the pop was made in 2017. And yes, indeed, it was made in 2017. Right there, you see it on the bottom. So this is a six-year-old pop. So I'm honestly surprised they've only made one other Figment pop since this. But guys, there is our Funko Pop Hunt for today. Another amazing haul that we got from the comic spot. Whenever we go there, we always come back with a really awesome figure. And a lot of times come back with some different grails. I've gotten a number of grails from Comic Spot. So every time I go, I'm super excited. And they always have something new, something different, and something pretty cool to bring back home. And I got to say, this is one of the more unique figures that I've picked up in a while. And this is a really hard one to find in Florida, especially with how popular Figment is. He's not going to be available for sale a lot of the time. So the fact that we were actually able to find him in the comic book store and pick him up is definitely a huge win. But now guys, I do want to throw it over to you. What do you think about our haul today during our Funko hunt? Is there anything in the store that you would have picked up for yourself? What was your favorite stuff? I definitely had a lot of other things that I would have potentially gotten. I was going between Figment and maybe picking up a couple other things for my $55. But at the end of the day, Figment was just way too cool to pass up. So I had to get him. But I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are and what you would have picked up in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a like in this video as well. Of course, if you never want to miss a video, make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we have new videos go live. And also make sure you check out the description down below. We do have a couple coupon codes, including for Whatnot, which is a great app for you to buy and sell your own collectibles. I've actually almost gotten this pop a few times on Whatnot during their live auctions, but I failed every single time. But Whatnot is a great place for you to be able to get Funko Pops, buy Funko Pops, sell them. They also have a marketplace, live auctions. And if you actually use our link in the description down below to sign up for Whatnot, you get $15 off your first purchase, including Funko Pops. So that would actually go a long way to maybe towards a grail or possibly getting yourself a free pop. And then we also have a link over for Vaulted Vinyl, which is where we get our preferred Funko Pop protectors of choice. 
Vix, use our link in the description, our code. You can save 10% off your purchase at Vaulted Vinyl. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and thank you so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.